It's for my new chick, try and get fit. Say she too thick. Ain't no such thing as too thick. What you wanna be a too big? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you're wondering about my orange hot Cheeto flaming hair, <laughs> I got this from Unit's Hair. I am using three of their ombre bundles. I believe the lengths are 18, 20, and 22, but if not, I'll leave it on the screen to let you guys know. As a matter of fact, it's actually 14, 16, and 18 inch bundles. And then, then the closure is either 12 or 14. The closure, however, was a frontal. It didn't, um, it wasn't ombre already like the rest of the bundles, so I had to bleach it. However, I bleached it twice and it did not lift how I wanted it to. Um, I will get into the jean try on in a minute. I'm actually wearing a pair of the jeans right now, but I wanted to talk about this hair from Eunice really quickly. But as I was saying, the frontal did not bleach how I wanted it to bleach. It I lifted it once, it was like a a brown. I lifted it again, it still was like a light brown. And then I tried to put the lightest color orange that I had on there, but it just really didn't take the color very well. It still turned out into like a a coppery brown color. So I ended up doing like um if you're familiar with sew-ins, this is like a full sew-in. So there's um, a piece of the closure or frontal there, but it's mostly just the tracks of the hair. And I made a bang with it to kind of counteract that um, brown frontal piece or whatever. So yeah, I wasn't a fan of the frontal, but these bundles, they colored so beautifully. The three colors I used was um, by Adore, and I used copper for the roots. I used orange blaze for like the middle and then I used sunset orange for the ends and it came out like way better than what I thought it would. I wanted a bright vivid orange hair um, color and it looks so pretty and I just love it so much and it's really different um, and I was going for something different and I was going for a summer orange and not really a fall orange and that's what I felt like the front two turned into a fall orange so I didn't want that but other than that I love this hair and shout out um, to Glam Neferson, I believe that's how you pronounce it, her channel and her um, Instagram because she was like, yes, honey, a perfected Cheeto. I was like, I like that. <laughs> I feel like a flaming hot Cheeto. So let's go ahead and get into this first pair of jeans from Old Navy. I decided to try some of their jeans um, because Old Navy is actually one of the first pair of jeans or companies I started getting like jeans from um, being younger and then also like when I got older and started wearing jeans again I used to get old navy jeans however um, at one point as someone stated their jeans started to feel more snug they didn't feel um, comfortable anymore like I had a pair of jeans that I love from them and then I had a pair of jeans that I was like alright well you know these are way too tight every time I wear them I'm getting creasing right here and I just um I just feel myself constantly pulling at them. But this first pair I could have sized down. These are 24. I have so much room. Like they are very stretchy. Like I don't know if these are jeggings or what, but they have a button, so I don't I don't know if they're jeggings. They do have front pockets and they do have back pockets. So I do like that about them. They have five pockets, you know, a little pocket up here, I guess. Coins go in there. Who knows? Um, I decided to try all these on with a crop top so you guys can see how high they truly come and how they fit. But I feel like I could have sized down because they are so, like, breathable. Like, I have so much breathing room that I feel like I'm going to be tugging at them, pulling them up because they do slide down. Like, they are very stretchy, y'all. Very stretchy. But they are super duper comfortable. I love the way they look. They look very flattering, I guess you can say. Um, but yeah, I don't have that crease right here. I might have it in the back, no matter how big or small my jeans are. Um, at the mid thigh, I get a little crease. So when I looked in the mirror, I was like, these don't look too savvy on my butt. <laughs> like, I feel like it makes my butt look bigger. And, um, yeah, just a little bit bigger or whatever. Um, but other than that, um, they're very comfortable. Like, the jeans are very comfortable in general. And I do like the style of them. Very simple. They do have some whiskering. But like I said, I wish I would have got a 22. But I think I, I tried between a 20 and 26 to see how all the jeans would fit me. So 
that's this pair super soft denim very stretchy and um yeah so let me try on the next pair so as i stated i said i sized between like a 20 and a 26 for these jeans i ordered um between a 20 and a 26 this black pair i actually ordered a 26 something told me <laughs> to order them um a size up because you guys know i wear like between a 20 and a 24 but these 26s i feel like girl i need a 28 like um unlike the last pair um they just like they have a little stretch to them but not really um but yeah this is this pair of jeans and these are just the black i guess rockstar jeans and um as far as the pricing i don't really see the price these are like legit like authentic denim material um you know a lot of the times like nowadays with the most mainstream jeans like you know fashion over monotiques and stuff like that they have the you know 98% cotton jeans but then they also have like a lot of jeans with stretch which I love so much because they're more comfortable they you know they move with me they flexible they uh stretch with my waist and stuff like that so um they stretch around the butt and the hips and then they come in on the waist which I actually need so yeah with this pair i feel like you guys probably like oh they look so nice but for me i feel restricted like i feel like they're a little snug and that's what i was saying like jeans these companies are never really like consistent when it comes to sizing like all your 20s should fit the same all your 22 should fit the same all your 24 should fit the same like i feel like it's pulling down more on this side but anywho that's this pair of jeans and it comes down lower in the back and you will see that when I turn around and show you guys um but yeah I had them in white as well the whites are 24 I was like nope not even gonna try them on <laughs> like no pull them to my ankle nope not even doing it it has a dip in the back and I know somebody said something like oh don't you guys just want to pull up her pants or something but the point of a crop top is to show off your midriff and like all the way around but um yeah these are a little bit too low for my liking because like it's like a few maybe one inch away from my butt crack and i don't like that so yeah that's this pair of jeans well, then we have this pair right here i love the color i thought they'd be perfect for spring and summer but um yeah <laughs> i don't know after trying on the first pair i was like okay this jean Paul might be lit. Old Navy might have stepped their game up. But these snug. But for some reason, like, they don't fit as snug. Like, they don't feel as snug as the black. But the black was a 26 and these are a 24. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Yeah, these are a 24. And, um... For the quality of the jean and I think they might last long if you find your perfect fit that you might you know the price might be fine but um yeah if these are like above 35 I'm like eh I don't really know I think I signed up and used like a 10% off code or something but uh, again these have front pockets and you know back pockets I like that but I just feel like Although they don't give me like complete muffin top up here, they just don't feel how I want them to feel. They don't contour with my body how I want them to contour with me and move with me. Which is why I like some more of the mainstream, you know, stretch denim jeans because they just move with me and they fit perfectly. So if you're looking for flattery, <laughs> I don't think this will do it. But um, other than that, they're a decent pair of light jeans. This is what the back looks like. And, um... They fit better on, they feel better on than the black pair, but they're 24. And that really irks me with companies because I'm like, <sighs> be consistent with the size. And we shouldn't always have the size up and down, up and down, up and down. But um, yeah, that's this pair right here. So now we have the best thing in this haul so far. Um, these jeans, not jeans, <laughs> these leggings right here. And I know I said I was going to do the jeans, but I just thought these were... Um, Get these out the way and possibly do like a picture with the last pair of jeans and yeah so anywho i'm still gonna try those jeans on but look at these leggings i love them so much i told you guys like i am so infatuated with pink now 
like my top is pink look at the color blocking i was gonna get the gray black and either light blue or white ones but then i saw these and i was like i gotta get these <laughs> and the reason i didn't get both was because i felt like they were like too much and i'm gonna tell you guys about the prices in the next pair of jeans i'm gonna go look at my invoice number i mean my invoice and my order number and look at the total and let you guys know because i'm pretty sure the reason i didn't get both colors were because of the price to be honest so i love these it's like a navy blue um a medium blue and then a light pink i just think it's so cute i love the color blocking i love this as an outfit to be honest like this pink crop top these leggings and my pink bands like that would be so cute so that's this right here um a lot of stretch these are 3x and yeah they fit really good they come up high in the back they just look so good and they feel so good i like to feel good like whoo whoo the first thing i thought about when i put these on is you never know what somebody is going through <laughs> and i know that's not supposed to be used in this um scenario but you never know what i went through to put these jeans on okay and honestly i was like hmm they're distressed so maybe i should go up a size but no i decided to get them in 24 and i regret it <laughs> i definitely regret it the shipping was fast and the quality like i said is great it's just sizing issues the only thing I'm probably going to keep from this haul is the, the leggings and then maybe the first pair of jeans, but probably not even those. Um, I think the white, blue, and black pair were $49.99. This pair was $56.99. The first pair was also $56.99. And then the leggings were $42.99. So, yeah, this pair, like, is so uncomfortable. Like, it looks so nice on, I feel like. But they are just, like, so tight you can see it dipped it low in the back so definitely not for me because it's like an inch again away from you being exposed to the top of my behind so yeah that's these jeans thank you all so much for joining my old navy haul i hope you enjoyed i hope to give you a little bit of insight um it's like every other company, you never know what the size and you got to test out a few things. And even the 26s were tight. And I had the same issue with Torrid. And um, somebody also commented like, oh, you know, old navy jeans fitting like that. But that was just the first pair I wore and happened to get lucky with those. So um, other than that, these, yeah, this is my final review. Um, sizing is iffy. Pricing is high for some jeans. Um, you guys know I had my $30 Fashion Over jeans, and they last me a year, two years, whatever. Um, but I know people always complain, like, oh, Fashion Over ain't for everybody as far as the fit. You know, because they don't go past a 3X, and they don't go past, like, a 20, 22, maybe a 24 um, in some of the jeans. But, um, yeah, these jeans that go all the way up, <laughs> they're not fitting the same way either. So, um, the range might be good, but the fit is not the best so that was my final review i hope you guys enjoy let me know what you think about the jeans styles are cute fitting is wrong so yeah <laughs>